My dear fellow beloved citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and our friends across the world, Nigeria stands on the threshold of history as we begin the historic race of soliciting votes from our electorate as permitted by law and regulated by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in accordance with the Electoral Act 2022. My fellow compatriots, you and I agree, like a vast majority of Nigerians, that our country has dipped below all known standards in social, economic, and political benchmarks. Our experience of the past seven years plus under the government of the APC had made us doubt our strength as a people. In fact, it is safe to say that the greatest thing that the APC government will be remembered for is how it failed to maintain the integrity of our unity and how it has put a knife between the things that hitherto held us together. As the flag bearer of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, powered by the accumulated cognate experience in leadership in the public service and in business from the private sector, spanning several years, I come with very strong determination and commitment to rescue Nigeria, to unify her people, and rebuild the now broken bridges of brotherhood which our founding fathers labored to erect. Nigeria is a great nation, full of resources, but broken by the malfeasance, despair, maladministration, divisive tendencies, pervasive insecurity, economic mismanagement, unprecedented corruption, and ruthless leadership visited on her since 2015. We have therefore again picked up the gauntlet to lead Nigeria into a new horizon where every tendency shall find accommodation. We are determined to restore hope, rebuild our broken fabrics, and reverse the locust years of bleeding of our commonwealth and place Nigeria on the world map. This time, Nigeria shall become a productive nation, forward-looking and clearly leading Africa into a new order. The international economic system is competitive and knowledge resource is the most important tool. Those who aspire to be key players must embrace innovative capacity, competitive skills, prepare and stock critical manpower bundles in the globalization world. The task is arduous. But there is good news. The Nigerian people are excellent supporters and team players in a leadership environment that is open, friendly and merit-based. We have the will and determination not only to promote the pursuit of happiness but also the actual attainment of happiness and the good life in an egalitarian society. These hallmarks of our civilization require that we restructure Nigeria in every facet of endeavor, open up the democratic space and mobilize our collective energies towards full-scale economic production. After all, the most important productive forces of history are economic. There is over-concentration of power in the federal government with multiple duplication of public agencies leading to the creation of parallel bureaucracies. The federating units shall benefit from the devolution of powers to increase their productive capacity for synergy and collaboration with each other in the corporate world as well as create sustainability and employment for our teaming population. The organized private sector must be encouraged to lead the charge in the production process while the government acts as an enabler and incentive provider in a conducive environment of doing business. The current disorder must yield place to a new order where the government will provide the policy and regulatory framework while the private sector will be well motivated to get on unabated with the business of business. We cannot undertake this difficult but necessary journey for reformation without a roadmap. My policy agenda, which is encapsulated in the unity seed proposal, 
is the action plan that our administration will pursue in rescuing this country if I am elected president. The core objective of this agenda is to unify Nigeria by ensuring that we build a political and social process that accommodates all and leaves no one behind. To this end, the first direction that our administration will take is to reinvent the principle of government of national unity, which will make our administration reflect the peculiar agitations of our people. For me, therefore, the upcoming election is not a winner-takes-all exercise. To the contrary, it shall be a winner wins all because I shall make deliberate attempt to win the trust of all Nigerians. When we create an atmosphere that makes all Nigerians take ownership of government and governance, the drive to achieve national unity becomes easier. And with our unity restored, it becomes easier to approach the other challenges of security, economy, education, and devolution of powers. We shall restore Nigeria's unity through equity, social justice, as well as ensure cooperation and consensus among heterogeneous peoples. We shall establish a strong, effective democratic government that guarantees the safety and security of lives and property. We shall build a strong, resilient, competitive and prosperous economy that creates jobs and wealth and leaves the poor out of poverty. We shall promote a federal system which will provide for a strong federal government to guarantee national unity while allowing the federated units to set their own priorities. We shall improve and strengthen the education system to equip its recipients with the education and skills required to be competitive in the new global order, which is driven by innovation, science and technology, and to lead healthy, productive and meaningful lives. These five thematic areas shall be the building blocks of a new social contract with our people as the government has the fundamental responsibility to protect the inalienable rights to life, property and dignity. We are determined to give practical expression to the terms of the contract in the realization of the common good and to build a nation where the rule of law becomes the critical signpost. Naturally and logically, our focus on these areas will enable us to earn huge global capital, prestige and respect. To achieve the task we have set for ourselves, I have come prepared with the requisite skills, capacity and experience. My headship of the economic team from 1999 to 2007 enabled me to headhunt for Nigerians with technocratic competence locally and those scattered across the globe. A lot of them were encouraged, deliberately enlisted, and strategically recruited to come on board and help rebuild Nigeria. For instance, in the telecommunications and banking subsectors, we made our marks. Today, we have joined the globalizing world in telecommunications and fintech. We shall do more, including rediscovering the central role of the maritime domain in the world economy. We shall fully utilize our innermost water resources in power generation, transmission, distribution, and sale of electric energy. We shall promote navigation, development of more ports, promote ecotourism, generate employment, and boost economic development. On these covenants, I have thrown my heart into the ring to rebuild Nigeria from May 29, 2023. Trust me and my formidable team in the PDP. We shall place Nigeria first and with all our compatriots and strategic partners throughout the world, together as one, we would and we shall succeed. God bless you and may God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. As one, we can get it done.